Hello guys, welcome to Topper Life. This is Gautam Sankirt and today we will be starting our session on board questions on Bernoulli trials and random variables. So let me wait for other 5 minutes so that other students can join. In the meantime, if you have any doubts in the previous chapters, you can ask me. I'll try to clarify your doubts. Okay. So how is your preparation going on guys? Is it fine? Are you facing any difficulty in any chapter, in any concept? Please let me know so that I'll try to help you out. <clears throat> right, so let me see who is the first one to join this particular session. Hello guys. Right, so in the last session, we have uh, done the previous year questions on uh, Bayes' theorem and uh, total probability, right? We have seen the different concepts, the different variety of questions framed on that particular topics. So in this particular session, today's session, we'll be discussing about the second part in which we'll be dealing with Bernoulli trials and random variables, okay? It's a very simple concept, very easy concept and a very scoring one okay so you're definitely going to get at least one question for four marks or for two marks or maybe for six marks okay so make sure that make sure that you have to get this particular concept you have to get this particular topics jo bhi question puchega ek topics pe you have to get the answer correct right so yeah good afternoon dipanshi good afternoon prachi so how are you guys are you ready for today's session yes perfect so let me start today's session guys so let me wait for other three minutes, okay, so that, you know, I'll just start the first question of this session. In the meantime, please be ready with your pen and paper. And as soon as the question appears on the screen, you have to start doing it. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. So how is your preparations going on, guys? How is your preparation going on? Vishal, Prachi, Yashvita, your 11th is over the Panchi, then this is 12th topic, right? I think this topic, Jube topic, we are doing in the session. Mein, this is for 12th, 12th board examination ke liye hai. Do you know this topic? Aapne padha hai ek topic pura? Very good, perfect, very good Prachi, 100% good. So I guess there are only 6 days left. Yeah, very good, very good, then it is fine. So there are only 6 days left for your uh, final CBSC examination. So please guys, don't get tensed. Uh, uh, don't start uh, learning new topics at this particular time, okay? Whatever topics you know, please go on revising them. Go on revising the concepts, the formulas and keep on doing uh, more and more problems, okay? Please, this is not the time for learning new concepts, right? Right, perfect. So let me start today's session, guys. I'm from the state board. I have exam on 14th. Okay, then you are left out with only two days. Perfect, perfect. So I think uh, you're thorough with the entire concept or koi dikkat or koi concept mein. I think uh, should we focus on NCRT or previous year questions? Both are okay, but see at this particular time, I prefer previous year questions. Because see, uh, if you start doing NCRT questions now, because there are only very less time is left for us now. So you know, you start doing the previous year questions so that you'll get an idea about how the questions are being framed in the examination. Konse level tak put sakta hai examination mein. So make sure that you complete the previous year questions, at least last four to five years questions. If you do it completely, then, no, then you'll get the confidence. Okay, right. So, right, perfect, perfect. So perfect, chalo. So chalte hi aaj ka session pe. So let me start doing the first question of this particular session, guys. So are you ready? Are you ready with your pen and paper? So should I start this particular session, guys? Right, perfect, chalte hai. So the first question of this session, start doing it. A coin is tossed five times. What is the probability of getting three hits? The first question and at most three hits. The second question. So a coin is tossed five times. A coin is tossed five times. What is the probability of getting three hits? At most three hits. <clears throat> so let me see who is going to give me the first answer of this question. Yeshvita, Prachi, Dipanchi, other students. It's a very simple one. It's a very, very simple question. It's a coin is tossed five times. Then what is the probability of getting three hits and at most three hits? So how to do this question, guys? Kaise karna hai question? In a very simple way. How to do this question? 
This was asked in 2019 for two marks. So, how do you do this Can anyone tell me the answer of this one? See, first thing is that, tell me, tell me, is it Bernoulli trials, whatever concept is given for you, in this particular case, Bernoulli's trials, you can do it here. I think Dipanshi got the answer. Okay, she's saying that the first one is 5 by 16. Perfect, let me check it out. So, first thing, first thing first, so, here Bernoulli trials a concept laga sakta hai pe. Yes or no guys? Whenever I am tossing a coin, is it a Bernoulli trial? So, what are the different conditions so that whatever trials you are going to get when you carry out a random experiment so that you can conclude that trials as a Bernoulli trial? What are the different conditions? You have four different conditions, right? What is the first condition? First condition kya hai Bernoulli trials ke liye? Can anyone tell me the first condition for Bernoulli trial? It's a very simple condition. What is that condition? Whatever number of trials are there, they have to be finite in number. Okay. They should not be in infinite. They should be a finite in the number. Okay. That is the first condition. The second condition is whatever outcomes you are going to get, you have to get only two possible outcomes. Not less than two, not greater than two. Exactly two possible outcomes. Okay. What is the third condition? The third condition is it should be either success or it should be failure. And the fourth condition is the probability of success and the probability of failure. Okay. They have to be same in each and every trial. Yes or no guys? The probability of success and the probability of failure should be same for each and every trial. And the last condition, the fourth condition is, what is that condition? Each and every trial should be independent. So these are the four important trials, sorry, these are the four important conditions. Can I have conditions? The first condition is it should be finite in number. The second condition is it should have only two possible outcomes, either success or failure. The third condition is the probability of success and the probability of failure should be same. And the fourth condition is they have to be independent. So you see this one, when you're tossing the coin, Okay, the tossing of the coin is always a Bernoulli trial. Because whatever you will get, you know, whatever trial you are going to get, whatever uh, you know, outcome you are going to get, each and every experiment or each and every trial is independent. Okay, and the number of success or let me say the probability of success and the probability of failure is going to be same. So what will I can apply the concept of Bernoulli trial in this particular question. So according to Bernoulli trials, P of x is equal to, let me say x is equal to n c x, okay, p raised to x, q raised to n minus x. So, this is the formula of the Bernoulli trial, right? So, what do you have to do I have to take x is equal to the first condition A. I have to take probability x is equal to, how lena hai? x is equal to 3. So, what will happen here? In place of n, n is nothing but the total number of chances. Okay. Here, see, he is tossing the coin 5 times. So, n is equal to 5. You are going to get 5, c. And here, x will happen? x is going to be 3. So, this one, what is p and what is q? p is indicating success. Okay. p, let me take it as success. And q, let me take it as failure. Okay. q, let me take that q as failure. Right. So, here, see, what is this probability of getting success? What is success? Kya hai? Getting ahead. So what is the probability of getting ahead? It is nothing but 1 by 2. And what is the probability of getting a tail then? That is, this is 1. So let me take this as P. Okay. And what is the probability of getting a tail? P of T. Or let me take this as Q. This is also going to be 1 by 2. Okay. So what is this? 5C3 into 1 by 2 whole raised to 3 into 1 by 2 whole raised to n minus x that is 5 minus 3. Hello Pranjal. So here what will happen? You are going to get 5 c3 into 1 by 2. I think this is going to be 1 by 2 whole raised to 5. So from this you are going to get the first answer. Okay. So this was your first part. Second part ke liye kya karna padega? You see the second part guys now. So see this is for exactly 3 hits. For at most 3 hits what we have to do? We have to write down P of x less than or equal to 3. That is nothing but P of x is equal to 0 plus P of, okay, P of x is equal to 0 plus P of x is equal to 1 plus P of x is equal to 2 plus P of x is equal to 3. Clear? So this is going to indicate at most 3 hits, okay, where x is nothing but the random variable which is indicating the number of hits. 
तो एटमोस का मतलब क्या होगा इट माइट बी जीरो हेड्स इट माइट बी वन हेड इट माइट बी टू इट माइट बी थ्री सो दैट इज वॉट आई एम टेकिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन या एग्जैक्टली यूर राइट यूर राइट परफेक्टली दीपांशी आपका आंसर सही है एंड फॉर द सेकेंड पार्ट यू हैव टू जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट द फॉर्मूला यहाँ पे क्या करना है इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स यू हैव टू टेक इट एज जीरो ओके इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स जीरो यहाँ पे फाइव यू जस्ट हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन यूल गेट द आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सेकेंड पार्ट तो समझ में आ गया सभी को द फर्स्ट वन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज इज ओके फॉर एवरी वन इट इज अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन द डायरेक्ट अप्लीकेशन ऑफ बर्नोली ट्रायल ये बहुत सिंपल क्वेश्चन था एंड दिस वॉज आज फॉर ओनली टू मार्क्स इन योर सीबीएसई टू जीरो वन नाइन राइट एक्जैक्टली फर्स्ट इज फाइव बाई सिक्सटीन परफेक्ट सर फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट में देखो एक्जैक्टली थ्री हेड्स है वो ओके एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो यहाँ पे एन क्या होगा फाइव टाइम्स सो फाइव सी थ्री इंटू वन बाई टू होल रेस टू क्यूब इंटू वन बाई टू होल रेस टू फाइव बाइनस थ्री क्लियर इज इज क्लियर यशविता अदर स्टूडेंट्स कोई डाउट है क्वेश्चन पे शो यू मोर टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइस परफेक्ट so let me go to the next question now to start doing the next question now so cbse 2018 for four marks char mark ke liye pucha tha so two numbers are selected at random without replacement from the first five positive integers okay let x denote the larger of the two numbers obtained then find the mean and variance of capital x start doing this question guys start doing this question so two numbers are selected at random without replacement From the first five positive integers. So first, tell me what are the first five positive integers? What are the first five positive integers, guys? क्या होगा first five positive integers? It is one, two, three, four, and five. Yes or no? The first five positive integers one, two, three, four, five होगा ना? Exactly. अभी देखो यहाँ पे let capital X denote the larger of the two numbers obtained. Then what I can say is whatever capital X is there, this is nothing but your random variable. And this capital X, what are the different possible values of this capital X? यहाँ पे capital X कौन से values ले सकते हैं? What is capital X denoting? The larger of the two numbers. So let me say if I am selecting one two, the larger of these two can be two. If I am selecting two three, then it is going to be three. If I am selecting three four, it is going to be four. If I am selecting four five. It is going to be five, and any other different combination. These are the different values of the random variable: two, three, four, and five. Yes or no, guys? Yes or no? यहाँ तक समझ में आ गया सभी को? Is it okay up till this particular step? I think this is clear for everyone, right? So यहाँ पे देखो. Next क्या करना है? You have to find the mean and variance of x. तो मीन फाइंड करेंगे पहला मीन कैसे फाइंड करना है सो मीन का फॉर्मूला मुझे पता है कि म्यू इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा आई रनिंग फ्रॉम वन टू एन पी आई एक्स आई राइट पी आई एक्स आई दिस इज म्यून दिस इज योर मीन तो पहला मीन फाइंड करूंगा देन आई गो टू वेरियंस पार्ट ओके सो यहाँ पे देखो मीन कैसे फाइंड करना है सो बिफोर फाइंडिंग द मीन आई हैव टू गेट द प्रॉबिलिटी तो क्या करूंगा सो आई राइट ऑन द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स आई एंड यहाँ पे पी आई का वैल्यूज लिखूंगा so when x i is equal to 2 okay when x is equal to 2 what is the probability what is the probability p of x is equal to 2 ke liye value kitna milega can anyone tell me sir 14 by 3 14 by 3 kahan se aayega okay you are saying the mean i don't know the answer uh, I, let me check it out pranjal for you i'll i'll do it definitely dekhenge pehla pehla mujhe ye batao ki p of x is equal to 2 kitna hoga what is p of x is equal to 2 indicating in this particular case नहीं यहाँ पे p ऑफ x इज इक्वल टू टू का प्रॉबिलिटी कितना होगा वॉट इज इट इंडिकेटिंग दैट वॉट एवर योर रैंडम वेरिएबल इज देर इट इज टू दैट इज आपने जो दो नंबर पिकअप किया है आउट ऑफ दैट फाइव नंबर द लार्जेस्ट नंबर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इज टू सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट सो प्रॉबिलिटी का डेफिनेशन तो सेम ही रहेगा टोटल आउटकम्स फेवरेबल आउटकम्स ओके कैन एन एवन टेल मी वॉट आर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स कितना होगा यहाँ पे यहाँ पे आपके पास पांच नंबर है वन टू यहाँ पे देखो यहाँ पे देखो आई टेक ए न्यू पेज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव आपके पास पांच नंबर है ओके एंड यू हैव टू पिक अप टू नंबर्स देन व्हाट आर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ चांसेस टोटल नंबर ऑफ अरेंजमेंट्स और लेट मी से द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स कितना होगा इज इट फाइव सी टू और फाइव पी टू लेट मी सी हु इज गोइंग टेलमी द आंसर ऑफ दिस वन फाइव सी टू और फाइव पी टू होगा 5c2, are you sure guys? 5c2 होगा ना नहीं तो 5p2 होगा 
यहां पे क्वेश्चन और एक बार बढ़ो इज सेइंग विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट उसका मतलब क्या है सी डस्ट ट्वेल्थ एस एस सी श्योर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सीबीएसई यस यस आई थिंक इट इज ओम कार राइट ट्रिपल जीरो नाइन आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर योर नेम आई थिंक या इट कंसिस्ट द सेम क्वेश्चन राइट परफेक्ट तो यहां पे देखो फाइव सी टू और फाइव पी टू यहां पे क्या है कि इट इज विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट वॉट डज दैट मीन इट मीन दैट यूर बेसिकली नॉट पिकिंग अप द टू बॉल्स साइमल्टेनियसली अब क्या कर रहे हैं और लेट मी से इन दिस पे आपके पास पांच नंबर है ओके यूर फर्स्ट पिकिंग द फर्स्ट नंबर एंड आउट ऑफ दैट फोर नंबर यूर पिकिंग द सेकेंड नंबर इट इज इन दैट वे यूर नॉट साइमल्टे यूर नॉट साइमल्टेनियसली पिकिंग अप टू नंबर तो यहां पर क्या होगा इन दिस केस वन कॉमा टू एंड टू कॉमा वन दिस टू आर डिफरेंट अरेन्जमेंट क्योंकि अगर आप कॉम्बिनेशन लेते हैं देन वन कॉमा टू एंड टू कॉमा वन इज गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट द सेम थिंग बट फॉर पॉमिटेशन वन कॉमा टू एंड टू कॉमा वन इज गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट द टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स तो यहां पर क्या होगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव पी टू सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री फैक्टोरियल तो द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी ओके तो यहां पर क्या बोलूंगा द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स is going to be 20 yahan tak samajh mein aa gaya sabhi ko is it okay for everyone up to this particular step why permutation why not combination in this particular case see it is without replacement without replacement ka matlab kya hai aapke paas panch number hai 1 2 3 4 and 5 sir think bernoulli trials is not in the syllabus of no bernoulli trials is there in the syllabus man wo oh, cbse ke textbook mein hai bernoulli trials is a very very important concept wo aapke book mein hai Okay, you see this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what is saying is he's basically not picking up two numbers simultaneously. वो क्या कर रहे हैं? पहला एक नंबर पिक अप कर रहे हैं. उसके बाद क्या कर रहे हैं? He's taking the second number. So in that particular case, one comma two, okay, and two comma one, they both represent different things. Because see, if it is only combination, one comma two, two comma one, दोनों सेम ही represent करेगा. अगर ऐसा नहीं है इफ इट इज गोइंग इफ यू आर गोइंग विद परमिटेशन देन वन कॉमा टू एंड टू कॉमा वन आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट टू डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव टेकन फाइव पी टू क्लियर तो यहां पे कितना होगा द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी फेवरेबल आउटकम्स कितना होगा कैन यू इवन टेल मी द फेवरेबल आउटकम्स वेन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू कौन से कॉम्बिनेशन के लिए टू आएगा सो फॉर वन कॉमा टू और टू कॉमा वन ओके फॉर दिस टू केसेस You're going to get x is equal to two, so this is going to be two by twenty. So for x i is equal to two, your probability is basically two by twenty. Is this okay for everyone, guys? यहाँ तक समझ में आ गया सभी को? यहाँ तक समझ में आ गया सभी को? Everyone, अभी Yashvita, uh, Omkar, Pranjal, Vishal, Dipanshi, yes, perfect. So now we'll go with x is equal to three. अभी आप लोग मुझे बताना है, for x is equal to three, probability कितना होगा? प्रॉबिलिटी कितना होगा एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री के लिए प्रॉबिलिटी कितना होगा टेल मी गाइस फोर सी अब सी टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स तो सेम ही रहेगा विच इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी नाउ टेल मी द फेवरेबल आउटकम्स कितना होगा यहां पे देखो फॉर वन कॉमा थ्री और थ्री कॉमा वन ओके द आंसर यू गोइंग टू गेट इज थ्री और लेट मी से टू कॉमा थ्री और थ्री कॉमा टू ये सो नो गाइस एग्जैक्टली वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो फेवरेबल कितना होगा यहां पर यहां पर फेवरेबल कितना होगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी फोर Perfect. Yes, Vita, you are right. The answer is going to be four by twenty. Perfect. Abhi, abhi, ab four ke liye batao. Now it's very simple for you. Now for four, what is the probability going to be? This is twenty. Okay. So this is twenty. Or yaha pe kitna hoga? For this case, how much you are going to get? Do it, do it, guys. You have to tell me. You have to tell me. <clears throat> right. So kitna six? Okay. See here. Four ke liye kitna milega? One comma four and four comma one. Okay, two comma four and four comma two, and it can be three comma four and four comma three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here we have six by twenty. Perfect, very good. So mean is four and variance is one. Let me see the answer. So here we have five. For five, how much will it be? So five for five, how much will it be? Eight by twenty. Yes or no? For five, for x is equal to five, the probability how much will it be? Eight by twenty. Yes or no? Exactly. Eight by twenty. Exactly. तो आपको एक्स आई मिल गया आपको पी आई भी मिल गया अभी क्या करना है आपको यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट ओके यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस आपको निकालना है मीन तो मीन क्या होगा म्यू इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा आई रनिंग फ्रॉम वन टू एन पी आई एक्स आई दैट इज दिस इन टू दिस 
that is 2 into 2 by 20 plus okay 3 into 4 by 20 okay plus 4 into 6 by 20 plus 5 into 8 divided by 20. So if you do this one, you are going to get the value of mean which is mu. So tell me the answer guys, mean kitna mil raha aapko yaha pe? Can you tell me the answer of this one? So LCM 20 hoga, this is going to be 4, 12, 24 and 40, okay. So yaha pe shayad, right. So 2016, so this is going to be uh, 2016, so this is right, 40, 80, right, perfect, very good Dipanshi, mu is 4, perfect, very good Dipanshi, very good Pranjal, Aapka answer is right, the mean is equal to 4, perfect. Now, after completing the mean, Aapko kya karna hai, variance find karna hai, so what is variance then, can anyone tell me the value of variance, is everyone from SSC board, no, I don't think so, so yaha pe dekho, sigma x square kya hoga yaha pe, yaha pe variance kya hoga, variance ka formula kya hai, it's a very simple formula, expectation of x square minus of expectation of x whole square and see this mu it can also be written as expectation of x yes or no see this is a very very simple formula to remember expectation of x square minus of expectation of x whole square so expectation of x square kya hoga it is going to be 2 square kyunki yaha pe x square hai. so this is going to be 2 square 4 into 2 by 20, okay, plus this one, 3 square, okay, 9 into, kya hoga? 4 by 20, plus 16 into 6 by 20, okay, 16 into 6 by 20, okay, plus, and I guess this is going to be 25, I think you guys can do this one now, right, ab ye kar sakte hai na, sabhi log expectation of x square kar sakte hai na, yes or no guys, yes or no, it's very simple, expectation of x square kya hai, Sigma i running from 1 to n, pi into xi square bus. Okay, right. So if you just substitute this formula, you are going to get expectation of x square. Expectation of x ka value kaise mil gaya hai? You have to just simplify this. Yes, your answer is perfect. Answer apko 1 milna hai. The variance is 1. Clear guys? Yaha pe koi doubt hai equation pe? Is this okay for everyone? Koi doubt hai equation pe? Right, is this okay for everyone guys? Koi doubt hai equation pe? Right, perfect. So, yeah. So, see how simple the question was. Okay. So, if you remember the concept, then the questions are very, very simple in this particular topic. Right. So, chilling in next question pe now. So, start doing the next question, guys. There are four cards numbered 1, 3, 5 and 7. One number on one card. Okay. Two cards are drawn at random without replacement. Let capital X denote the sum of the numbers on the two drawn cards. Find the mean and variance of x. Find the mean and variance of x. Uh, how do we write the statements in it? Uh, pe statements likna hai aapko? In the meanwhile, you guys can start doing this question, guys. Uh, can you be more clear with your doubt, Ishvita? Uh, which statements? Pe statement hai pe? Which statements are you talking about? This one? Are you talking about this statements here? Like about pi and pi and xi. See, uh, for mean and variance, always do it in this way, okay? Ab kya karna hai? You have to write down xi, you have to write down pi, you construct the table for this. No, don't write the statements, this is okay for this. See, aapko sirf ek table construct karna hai pe. You have to construct a table in this particular way, okay? And you have to write down the different values of xi and accordingly write down the values of the probability, okay? If you construct a table, construct karte hai, then that's more than enough for you. You have to just construct the table for this particular type of problems. Right? And see, if, if you feel that I have to explain anything here, then you can just write it down there. For example, in the previous case, you have written that 2 by 20 is the first case. Ke liye. Why 2 by 20? You have to explain that. You should not write it directly. 2 by 20 is the first case. You have to write that 1, 2 and 2, 1 are only the favorable outcomes. So probability is going to be 2 divided by 20. Okay. So you have to explain this in this particular way. Don't directly write down the answers in this particular table. Yes, write down the answers and also explain it. Ab yaha pe probability 2 by 20 q mil raha hai, 4 by 20 q mil raha hai pe. You have to explain those things. Okay. Right. So start doing this guys. Start doing this one. So kya hoga answer is ka? There are 4 cards numbered 1, 3, 5 and 7. One number on one card. Two cards are drawn at random without replacement. 
ओके आई थिंक ओमकार गॉट द आंसर वेरियंस का आंसर मिला है आपको आई थिंक एट फोर्टी एट बाई ट्वेल्व प्लीज ट्राई टू जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई इट या आई थिंक दीपांशी आंसर इज राइट मीन इज एट एंड वेरियंस इज ट्वेंटी बाई थ्री दीपांशी आर परफेक्टली करेक्ट मीन इज इक्वल टू एट एंड वेरियंस जो भी है सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वायर दैट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी बाई थ्री दिस इज द राइट आंसर सुशी यहाँ पे क्या देखो क्या गलती किया आपने There are four cards numbered वन थ्री फाइव एंड सेवन वन कार्ड ऑन सॉरी वन नंबर ऑन वन कार्ड टू कार्ड आर ड्रॉन एट रैंडम विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट ओके लेट कैपिटल एक्स डिनोट द सम ऑफ द नंबर ऑन द टू ड्रॉन कार्ड तो यहां पर क्या है कि लेट कैपिटल एक्स डिनोट द सम ऑफ द नंबर ऑन द टू ड्रॉन कार्ड ओके वॉट आई कैन सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केसेस इट यू टेक कैपिटल एक्स टेल मी द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस Can anyone tell me the possible values of capital X? Capital X यहाँ पे क्या denote कर रहा है? It is denoting the sum of the two numbers. Yes or no? The sum of the two numbers. So it can be four, क्योंकि one plus three four हो सकता है. Or it can be five plus one six. Okay. Or it can be five plus three eight. Or it can be seven plus three ten. Or it can be seven plus five twelve. Yes or no, guys? Four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Perfect. So these are the different possible values of the random variable x. So now what we have to do? The same method. We have uh, whatever for the last question, whatever method we have done. We have to do the same. What we have to do? X i. This is p i. So now what we have to do? For x i is equal to four. Okay. How much p is the value? Can anyone tell me the value of this one? For x is equal to four. What is the value of p? P of x is equal to four. The value of p is equal to four. Can anyone tell me this one? So there are four cards, right? Okay. So two cards are drawn at random without replacement. So what are the total number of cases in this case? Total number of possible outcomes. How many will be here? The same way we did the last problem. You have four cards. You have to pick up two cards. Okay. And without replacement. Okay. So in how many ways, guys? In how many ways? In how many ways can I do this? Is it four p two? Yes or no? Is it 4p2 or 4c2? यहाँ पे 4p2 होगा नहीं तो 4c2 होगा. Can anyone tell me the answer of this one? You have to draw two cards at random. See, two cards are drawn at random without replacement. He's not saying simultaneously. So this is the same situation like the previous problem. तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा? It is 4p2. So this is going to be 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So this is 4 into 3, which is nothing but 12. The total number of outcomes will be 12. Favorable outcomes will be how much? Can you even tell me the favorable outcomes in this particular case? 1,3 or 3,1. Yes or no guys? 1,3 or 3,1. In these two cases, okay, you are going to get the answer as 4, the random variable as 4. So how much will be here? 2 by 12. So this is going to be, this is going to be 2 by 12. Okay, now tell me for 6. You have to tell me for six. Six के लिए क्या होगा? Anyway, total number of outcomes तो twelve होगा. Favorable outcomes कितना होगा, guys? Favorable outcomes कितना होगा यहाँ पे? For x is equal to six, probability कितना होगा इसका? Two? Is it only two? Yashvita, देखो यहाँ पे six कहाँ से मिल सकते हैं आप? Five comma one और one comma five. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? Five comma one and one comma five. Any other different possibilities here? I don't think so. Right? Exactly. 2 by 12. And for 8, 8 ke liye kitna hoga probability? For 8, what is the probability guys? Probability kitna hoga 8 ke liye? What is the probability for 8? Exactly. So 3 comma 5. Okay. 3 comma 5. 5 comma 3. Right? And also, and also, you see this one. 7 comma 1. Okay. And 1 comma 7. So yaha pe kya hoga? It is going to be 4 divided by 12. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Now for 10, 10 ke liye kitna hoga? For 10, how many chances you are going to get? 10 ke liye kitna hoga? For 10, how much you are going to get, guys? 10 ke liye kitna hoga yaha pe? Can anyone tell me the answer of this one? For 10, exactly 2 by 12. So 7 comma 3 and 3 comma 7, right? So this is going to be 2 by 12. And for 12, for 12, how many chances you are going to get? I think only 2 chances. 5 comma 7 and 7 comma 5. Yes or no? Exactly, 2 by 12. So you see, I got the value. Here, one minute. So here, see, this table is completely constructed. 
you can just see the table here so you can just see the table guys so this is your table okay so xi ka values mil gaya you got the pi values here so abhi kya karna hai aapko you have to find out the mean and you have to find out the variance and i guess this is a very simple problem for you now kar sakte hain aap i think you can find the mean and variance guys to so mean kaise find karna hai mu is equal to sigma i running from 1 to n pi into xi तो क्या होगा यहां पे? इट इज गोइंग टू बी फोर इंटू टू बाई ट्वेल्व ओके प्लस इट गोइंग टू बी सिक्स इंटू टू बाई ट्वेल्व प्लस सो ऑन ओके प्लस दिस वन एट इंटू फोर बाई ट्वेल्व प्लस टेन इंटू टू बाई ट्वेल्व प्लस ट्वेल्व इंटू टू बाई ट्वेल्व आई गेस यू कैन डू दिस क्वेश्चन राइट अभी नेक्स्ट क्या करना है आफ्टर गेटिंग द मीन हाउ टू फाइंड आउट वेरियंस सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वायर क्या होगा एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स होल स्क्वायर ओके Just apply this formula and what is expectation of x square formula? Sigma i running from one to n, pi into x i square. That's it. Or ye mu ko hum kaise bol sakte hain? In other ways, we can call it as expectation of x. Okay? Is this okay for everyone, guys? Yahan pe koi doubt hai yahan pe, guys? Is this okay for everyone? Koi doubt hai equation pe? Okay? Right? Right? Perfect. So abhi main kya kisi? The question answer is not important. The method is very very important, but still, I'll tell you the answer for this one. The answer आपको क्या मिलना है? You have to get mean equal to for this particular question. Uh, just a minute, I think this is the third question, right? Right, perfect. One, two, and this is your third question. So third question के लिए mean is equal to eight and variance आपको क्या मिलना है? Twenty by three. Okay? So mean is equal to eight and variance is equal to twenty by three. This is the answer you have to get, right? Now coming to Yashvida doubt. What if it was given with replacement? आप ही सोचो यहाँ पे. If it is given with replacement, there are four cards numbered one, three, five, and seven. One number on one card. Two cards are drawn at random without replacement. So उसका meaning क्या है कि without replacement का मतलब you are picking up two cards one after the other. Okay? So it means in this way. Okay? यहाँ पे देखो. So these are your four cards. Okay? इसमें से आप दो pick up कर रहे हैं. ओके एंड दैट इज विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट सो इट इट मींस इन दिस वे तो आपके पास चार कार्ड है ओके okay? तो चार कार्ड में से आपको पहला कार्ड कितने वेस में पिकअप कर सकते हैं इन फोर वेस यस और नो यशविता एंड अदर स्टूडेंट्स सी द डिफरेंस अगर रिप्लेसमेंट दिया है रिप्लेसमेंट नहीं दिया है क्वेश्चन कैसा वेरी होगा ओके विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट फर्स्ट यू हैड फोर कार्ड्स यू हैव टू पिकअप वन कार्ड इन हाउ मेनी वेस इन फोर वेस अभी सेकेंड कार्ड पिकअप करने में आपके पास कितना कार्ड बचे रहेगा हाउ मेनी कार्ड विल बी लेफ्ट आउट फॉर यू थ्री इन हाउ मेनी वेज यू कैन पिकअप वन कार्ड आउट ऑफ द थ्री कार्ड थ्री वेज सो फोर इन टू थ्री इट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेल्व ये समझ में आ गया इज दिस ओके फॉर यू नाउ यशविता ये कंडीशन समझ में आ गया सभी को यस नाउ यू कंसिडर विथ रिप्लेसमेंट अगर विथ रिप्लेसमेंट है वन टू थ्री एंड फोर में द फर्स्ट कार्ड कैन बी पिकड अप इन फोर डिफरेंट वेज यस और नो यस इन टू द सेकेंड कार्ड के लिए भी कितने वेस होगा इट इज विद रिप्लेसमेंट जो भी आप कार्ड पिकअप कर रहे हैं अगेन यूर प्लेसिंग दैट कार्ड एक्सैक्टली तो ये केस में कितना होगा टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी सिक्सटीन क्लियर समझ में आ गया कॉन्सेप्ट विद रिप्लेसमेंट एंड विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट क्लियर राइट परफेक्ट सो चलते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे अभी तो स्टार्ट डूइंग द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइस स्टार्ट डूइंग द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन ए गेम ए मैन विंस रुपीज फाइव For getting a number greater than four and loses rupees one otherwise, okay. When a fair die is thrown, the man the man decided to 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 throw a die thrice, but to quit as and when he gets a number greater than four, okay, fine. Find the expected value of the amount he wins or loses. चलो ये क्वेश्चन थोड़ा थोड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग लग रहा है. So let me start doing this. Okay, anyway, I'll give you time for you. So five minutes दे दूँगा आपके लिए. Start doing this question, guys. First, start tell first. फर्स्ट टेल मी यहां पे रैंडम वेरिएबल क्या लेना है यहां पे रैंडम वेरिएबल क्या लेना है वीडियो इज पॉजिंग प्लीज रिफ्रेश इट और एक बार रिफ्रेश करो सी इफ यू आर फेसिंग एनी डिफिकल्टी इन ऑडियो और वीडियो यू जस्ट रिफ्रेश इट वंस अगेन आई गेस यू गेट इट मोर क्लियर देन ओके तो पहला एक क्वेश्चन पे टेल मी वॉट इज रैंडम वेरिएबल ओके परफेक्ट तो रैंडम वेरिएबल क्या होगा यहां पर यस स्टूडेंट टेल मी What is random variable in this case? So, एक बंदा है तो क्या कर रहे हैं वो हिस्स प्लेइंग गेम वेर हिस्स गोइंग टू विन रुपीज फाइव इफ यू गेट्स ए नंबर ग्रेटर देन फोर 
okay and he has got how many chances he has got only three chances okay okay sorry so yaha pe dekho exactly so yaha pe kya bol raha hu ki so basically i can say that the guy should get a number greater than 4 then only he is going to get rupees 5 and once he is getting greater than 4 agar agar usko ek number mil gaya hai greater than 4 then it is he is going to quit the game he is not going to continue the game further okay that is the given thing in the question to so, yahan pe main kya bol raha hu ki he has given three chances okay three chances are given for him the coin whatever dice is there for him he is going to throw that dice three times so now tell me tell me that what are the different possible cases what are the different possible cases yahan pe hoga first case is maybe in the first die only maybe in the first throw only he is getting the he is getting the number as 4 yes or no yes or no guys in the first case only when he is when he is throwing the dice at the first time only he is going to get the number which is greater than 4 so that is where he is going to get x is equal to 1 yes or no or let me say in this way to be more clear okay we'll do this question in this way guys i'll i'll do it in as simple way as possible to yahan pe main kya karunga first i know that i have to decide what is my random variable okay so four possibilities exactly to main kya bol raha hu ki yahan pe jo bhi banda hai isko teen bar he got a chance of throwing the die three times he was getting a number greater than 4 he is going to stop he is going to quit the game if he is not going to get the number 4 he is going to continue but only up till three times okay so for the first chance for the first time if he is getting the number 4 or greater than 4 at the first time only then how many how much money is going to win kitna money aayega isko how much money is going to win can anyone tell me this one usko money kitna aayega x is equal to 5 exactly yes or no he is going to win 5 rupees see there are three chances three chances hai uske paas okay when he is tossing the die first time only he is getting in a number greater than 4 then how much he is going to win rupees 5 and he is not going to continue the game further wo wahan pe hi rukega game okay so x is equal to 5 now tell me what is the probability of getting x is equal to 5 can anyone tell me the probability of getting x is equal to 5 agar usko 5 rupees milna hai then what is the die what is the number that should appear on the die kya hoga wo number jo bhi die ke upar hoga what should be the number b 5 or 6 exactly so in how many ways you can get 5 or 6 2 divided by 6 because 6 is the total number of outcomes 2 is the favorable outcomes so this is going to be 1 by 3 so for x is equal to 5 p of x is equal to 5 is 1 by 3 okay now second case the second case so yahan pe kya bol raha hu ki in this case he is winning okay in the first attempt only in the first attempt only he won okay he won in the first attempt now this is second case where in the second attempt okay he won that is maybe he might be doing in this way so exactly to yahan pe kya ho raha hai ki when he is throwing the die first time he is not getting a number greater than 4 but in the second time he is getting a number greater than 4 now tell me abhi wo jo bhi aadmi hai wo kitna kamayega kitna kamayega can anyone tell me how much is going to earn now if he is going to win in the second attempt if he is going to win in the second attempt how much is going to win other students try try to do it yashvita is right pranjal bhi sahi hai what about other students kitna hoga see pehla jo bhi attempt hai he failed so if he is failing he is going to he is going to lose rupees 1 ओके एंड द सेकंड अटेम्प्ट इज गोइंग टू विन तो कितना मिलेगा इसको पांच रुपए मिलेगा सो फाइव माइनस वन हाउ मच इज गोइंग टू गेट इज गोइंग टू गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच इज गोइंग टू गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर यस और नो गाइस यहां तक समझ में आ गया सभी को यस और नो एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर इज इट ओके फॉर एवरी वन इज इट ओके फॉर एवरी वन गाइस प्लीज रिप्लाई सो दैट आई कैन कंटिन्यू फर्दर मुझे भी लगेगा कि आप लोगों को समझ में आ रहा है यहां पर If you're not understanding it, please, please be free to tell me so that I'll try to explain it in a more detailed way, right? So x is equal to four mil gaya. So now tell me what is the probability of getting x is equal to four? Probability of x is equal to four kitna ho sakta hai? Kitna ho sakta hai probability of x is equal to four? Tell me guys, probability of x is equal to four kitna milega? So exactly. So you see this one when you're tossing two dice, okay? For the first die. 
फॉर द फर्स्ट आई यूर यूर बेसिकली लूजिंग इट तो क्या होगा सिक्स इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स और न्यूमरेटर में क्या होना चाहिए इट शुड बी ए नंबर लेस देन फोर दैट इज इट कैन बी इन फोर वेस फोर इंटू सिक्स फोर बाई सिक्स इन टू इन द सेकेंड अटेम्प यू आर विनिंग इट ओके सो अगर आप जीत रहे हैं आप उसका मीनिंग क्या हो गया यू आर बेसिकली गोइंग टू गेट ए नंबर ग्रेटर देन फोर दैट इज इट माइट बी फाइव और सिक्स सो टू बाई सिक्स तो द आंसर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इज बेसिकली टू वन जा टू थ्री जा सिक्स and this is 2 2 0 and this is right perfect so it is going to be 2 by 9 right it is going to be 2 by 9 perfect perfect i think you guys are right perfect very good very good guys next one next one abhi dekho third condition kya hoga can anyone tell me the third condition guys third condition kya hoga abhi aap hi bata rahe hain mujhe first condition first attempt he won second condition second attempt he won third condition mein kya hoga in third condition what is going to be He is going to win in which attempt? He is going to win that particular game in which attempt? In third attempt, yes or no? What does that mean? I can say in this way. Pehla dono dono times he 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 has lost it, and in the third time he has won it. So, iska kya hoga? Can anyone tell me how much money he is going to get now? Kitna paisa kamaega wo jo bhi banda hai? Abhi kitna kamaega? So, abhi yaha pe yaha pe minus two hoga. और यहाँ पे कितना जीतेगा पांच रुपए सो फाइव माइनस टू इज गोइंग टू विन रुपीज थ्री ओके सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री मिल गया सो प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री कितना होगा प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री कितना होगा फोर बाई सिक्स इंटू फोर बाई सिक्स इंटू टू डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स ये सो नो फोर बाई सिक्स इंटू फोर बाई सिक्स इंटू टू डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स ये सो नो गाइस ये सो नो यहां पर समझ को समझ इज दिस ओके फॉर एवरी P of x is equal to three. Yes, it's a very simple thing. यहाँ पे देखो, it is just an extension of this one, right? Abi, abi, that's it. It's the problem. That's it. यहाँ पे ये only these are the different conditions possible. Yes or no? Are these three conditions are only these three conditions possible? No, exactly. यहाँ पे fourth condition है, जहाँ पे he is not winning at all. Okay, that is. He is losing in all the three attempts. Then, us, wo kitna kamaega? Abhi wo kitna kamaega? How much is going to? How much is going to earn? Basically, he is not going to earn anything. Actually, he is going to be in deficient. So, kitna hoga wo amount? He is going to be minus three. So, p of x is equal to minus three. Kitna hoga? P of x is equal to minus three ka kitna hoga? It is going to be four by six into four by six into four by six. So you see, you got all the four conditions. Now it's very simple for you to find out the expected value. So expected value का मतलब क्या है? Expectation of x is nothing but the mean. So sigma i running from one to n p i into x i. तो यहाँ पे क्या करना है? Okay, यहाँ पे क्या करना है? So this is going to be basically phi into okay. See here, see here, guys. Phi into probability, which is one by three. Plus, okay, and this is going to be four into two by nine. Perfect. Or ye kya hoga? This is going to be three into this entire thing. Okay, I guess you can do this one now. Yes or no, guys? Ab ye kar sakte hai na? Three into this entire thing and minus three into this entire thing. Yaha pe this entire thing. You're going to get the answer. Clear? So answer kitna milne hai apko? The answer you have to get is nineteen by nine. Are you getting the answer, sir? Are you getting the answer, guys? Nineteen by nine, one nine divided by nine, right? Perfect. So audio problem here. Again, refresh it. Again, refresh it, guys. You'll not find any uh, trouble here. Okay. So see the question. Question. Somebody got some idea. Agya, a question. Koi doubt hai a question pe, guys. Is this okay for everyone? Omkar, Yashvita, Pranjal, Dipanshi, other students. Abhi audio problem. Please refresh it once again. Guys, please refresh it once again if you are finding any problem. Video problem is here, kya? Please refresh it. Please refresh it. Line triple eight. Okay, doubt. Who is that doubt? Omkar, you can just tell me your doubt so that you know quickly. I'll just uh, clarify your doubt and then I can go to the next question. Right. Uh, please, please make quick fast. Okay. So, see, question question very simple. Hai. So, what you have to do? You have to understand the question. Okay. After understanding the question, you have to know what is the random variable. Okay, what is the random variable in this particular case? If you have understood the random variable, 
then the entire question is very very simple for you you know how to find out this uh, probability you know how to find out the mean and all that stuff right chalo that's it so let me go to the next question guys now now start doing the next question now start reading the next question and start doing the next question uh tanmay sharma you are a bio student i think then you are into the wrong class then anyway anyway other students so five bad oranges are accidentally mixed with 20 good ones okay if four oranges are drawn by one by one successively with replacement okay then find the probability distribution of number of bad oranges drawn hence find the mean and variance of the distribution chalo start kar rahe equation let me see who is going to solve this one <coughs> the student who has joined who has joined late Uh, please be uh, just take your pen and paper and uh, whatever question you are going to see on the screen start doing it okay so this is a quick revision for you kaise bhi aapke liye cbse walon ke liye to there are six days left out for you so ek bar check karo are you thorough with this particular concept of bernoulli trials and random variables or not if you are having any difficulty agar koi concept clarity nahi hai i'll try to clarify it through the problems right Okay, perfect. So five bad oranges are accidentally mixed with twenty good ones. If four oranges are drawn one by one successively with replacement, then find the probability distribution of number of bad oranges drawn. Hence, find the mean and variance of the distribution. Right. So tell me the answer of this one. Can anyone tell me the answer of this one, guys? Kya hoga? Iska answer hoga? Kya ho sakta hai? Iska answer. so one thing is that you see here you see in this particular case so five bad okay uh, i think uh, pranjal is saying one answer probability of b okay let me check it out pranjal for you so yahan pe dekho five bad oranges are mixed with 20 good ones so total jo bhi oranges hai aapke paas okay it is 25 25 is the total number of oranges which you have right if four oranges are drawn one by one successively with replacement then find the probability distribution of number of bad oranges drawn to yahan pe kya hoga so let me construct the table for you x and p okay xi and pi so what can be the first value can anyone tell me xi ka first value kya ho sakta hai out of that four oranges you are going to draw what are the number of bad oranges possible zero to so zero se start karenge what does that mean basically you have zero bad oranges So what is the probability of getting x is equal to zero? Probability of x is equal to zero का मतलब क्या होगा, guys? क्या होगा probability of x is equal to zero? How to find out probability of x is equal to zero? So in this case, you see one thing here. यहाँ पे जो भी दिया है, are they Bernoulli trials or not? Yes or no? Are they Bernoulli trials or not? Yes or no? All oranges are good, exactly. So see, exactly you are right. So, मैं क्या यहाँ पे प्रॉबिलिटी क्या होगा सो बेसिकली आई कैन डू इट इन दिस पे ओके लेट मी डू इट इन दिस पे तो यहाँ पे द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑरेंजेस यू हैव ओके इज बेसिकली ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके एंड हाउ मेनी यू हैव टू पिक अप फ्रॉम दिस वन सो ट्वेंटी फाइव से आपको कितना पिकअप करना है एंड विथ रिप्लेसमेंट हाउ टू डू दिस क्वेश्चन कैन यूवन टेल मी दिस क्वेश्चन हाउ टू डू दिस वन सो सी हाउ टू डू दिस वन गाइस यहाँ पे क्या करना है एंड दिस इज विथ रिप्लेसमेंट विथ रिप्लेसमेंट पूछ रहे हैं यहाँ पे तो क्या होगा इसका आंसर Okay, let me do it in this way. I'll I'll explain you in a very detailed way. Okay, uh, ways help pick up. Okay, four into four into four, not that way, I guess. Okay, यहाँ पे देखो. I think you are confusing a little bit. Okay, I'll do it in this way, guys. यहाँ पे देखो सभी लोग. यहाँ पे क्या है कि? Okay, there are twenty-five different oranges. Okay, tell me. I'll do it in this way. Probability of P is basically success. Okay, so for me, success is regarding. getting a bad orange okay right yes or no yes exactly exactly i wohi bol raha hu yahan pe dekho p is equal to success which i'm taking it as a bad orange okay q is nothing but a failure okay which i'm taking it as a good orange okay i'm defining in this particular way for me success is getting a bad orange q failure is nothing but getting a good orange okay right perfect yahan pe dekho abhi log So now, यहाँ पे क्या बोल रहा है कि so you see this one, so p of x is equal to zero का मतलब क्या हो गया? What is what is the probability of getting a good orange or let me say bad orange? What is the probability of getting a bad orange, guys? Bad orange आपको कहाँ से मिलेगा? Five by twenty five? Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? 
yes or no yes perfect so that is going to be 1 by 5 okay and what about getting a good orange 4 by 5 yes or no exactly so now you see this one what is p of x is equal to 0 indicating what is p of x is equal to 0 indicating yaha pe yaha pe dekho how many how many oranges you are going to pick up four oranges so this is 4c0 kyunki yaha pe n kya hai n is equal to 4 yes i think pranjal your answer is right let me check it out pranjal okay 4c0 into yaha pe aapko kitne kitne bad oranges milna chahiye zero yes or no so i'll take 1 by 5 whole raised to 0 into 4 by 5 whole raised to 4 yaha tak samajh mein aa gaya sabhi ko is this particular statement clear for everyone p of x is equal to 0 is basically 4c0 into 1 by 5 whole raised to 0 into 4 by 5 whole raised to 4 yes or no guys see there are bernoulli trials ye bernoulli trials hai yes or no yes exactly so abhi ye ho gaya so you see this one is done right so now what about 1 then for x is equal to 1 kya milega so p of x is equal to 1 ke liye kitna milega 4c1 okay so you're basically going to get one bad orange uska matlab kya hai 1 by 5 whole raised to 1 into 4 by 5 whole cube okay then p of x is equal to 2 ke liye kitna hoga you're going to get 4c2 1 by 5 whole raised to 2 and this is going to be 4 by 5 whole square and p of x is equal to 3 okay so it means kitna hoga 4c3 1 by 5 whole cube okay and 4 by 5 whole raised to 1 and the final one p of x is equal to 4 yaha pe 4 c 4 okay so 4 by 5 whole raised to 0 1 by 5 whole raised to 4 so these are the different probabilities you are going to get so x is equal to 1 0 1 2 3 4 ke liye have written all the different probabilities yaha pe dekho this one this one this one this one and this one you find out the value of this one and then you have to find out the mean and variance. I think mean and variance you guys can do it. Yes or no? Ab log kar sakte hai na? Mean and variance. It's just the formula substitution. Formula substitute karna hai bas. Yes, perfect. So see, the important thing in this particular question is, ye jo bhi condition diya hai aapko, okay? The whatever condition is given for you, you have to identify that. That condition is nothing but Bernoulli trials, okay? So once I have taken that, once I have known that, whatever condition is given for me, it is a Bernoulli trial, then see how simple the question became. Clear? So, iska answer milna hai aapko. I think the answer is going to be mean ka answer 4 by 5. Okay? And the variance answer is 16 divided by 25. The answer is this one. Okay? 4 by 5 and 16 by 25, this is the answer you have to get. Okay? See guys, I am not doing the simplification part, calculation part. I am not doing that, that all those things because see, Anyway, I think if you know the method, I think you guys can do that part, right? So, I am just method bol raho pe. I'll try to, I'm trying to clarify your whole concept and then I'm telling you, I'm, I'm giving you the answer so that once you get the answer, you can just check whether it is right or wrong. Okay? Right. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Jeel, what is, Jeel, I think your answer is wrong. Deko kaha pe galdi ho gaya aapka? You check where you have done a small mistake. There might be some small mistakes. And see, please be careful. Here, many people do Bernoulli trials in Bernoulli trials. In place of 1 by 5, you take 4 by 5. And in place of 4 by 5, you take 1 by 5. Your whole answer is gone. So please be very, very careful when you are substituting this Bernoulli trial. And I'll tell you a very simple way. See guys, what do you have It's a very simple way to remember. Okay? So always don't, don't think in this way that P ka matlab success, Q ka matlab failure. So always don't do it in this way. Better way is, yaha pe dekho, what is X is equal to 0 indicating? X is equal to 0 kya indicate kar raha hai? Jo bhi bad oranges hai, that is nothing but 0. So the probability of getting bad oranges is 1 by 5. So jo bhi bad oranges hai, aapke paas bad oranges hi nahi hai. Ye jo bhi condition mein, you are not having any bad oranges. So this probability is going to be 0. And whatever is going to be left out, that is going to be good oranges. So, char mein se, agar koi bhi bad orange nahi hai, so all that 4 are good oranges. So, 4 by 5 whole raised to 4. Okay? You see this condition. Ye, ye, ya pe dekho. P of x is equal to 1 ka matlab kya ho gaya? 1 bad orange. So, kya kar sakta hai? Okay. So, the probability of getting a bad orange is 1 by 5. So, 1 by 5 whole raised to 1. Okay? 1 by 5 whole raised to 1 into 
For this one, for a bag good orange, it is going to be whole raised to 3. If you remember in this particular way, things will become easy for you. Okay, you will be confused. Ho right? Chalo. So, let's go next question. Pe na. So, start doing the next question, guys. Start doing the next question. Right. So, three cards are drawn successively with replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Then find the probability distribution of the number of speeds. Hence, find the mean of the distribution. So, start doing it. So, start doing it, guys. <clears throat> okay, there are three cards are drawn successively with replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Find the probability distribution of the number of spades. Hence, find the mean of the distribution. Start doing it. Let me see who is going to give me the first answer of this one. Kya hao guys ka answer? What is going to be the answer of this one? So three cards are drawn successively with replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Then find the probability of the number of spades. Find the probability of the number of spades. See, whenever you see this with replacement, you ek idea milna chahiye that you know whatever trials you are going to get, whatever jo bhi random experiment up karenge, whatever outcome you are going to get, whatever trials you are going to get, they are nothing but bare nolly trials. Yes or no? With replacement ka matlab wohi hai. With replacement ka matlab wohi hai ki jo bhi aapne condition diya hai equation mein, it is Bernoulli trials. To yaha pe dekho kya hoga? Abhi you got the answer. Okay fine, let me check it out abhi. So yaha pe dekho, first thing is that, uh, yaha pe spades kitna hoga? How many spades do we have? 13, yes or no? And the total number of cards which are basically is 52. So, the probability of getting a spade is how much? 13 by 52, yes or no guys? which is nothing but 1 by 4 okay so i'll take p is equal to 1 by 4 that is getting a spade is success for me so p is equal to 1 by 4 so q is basically 3 by 4 that is not getting a spade which is 1 minus 1 by 4 which is 3 by 4 so p aa gaya q bhi aa gaya to main kya karunga three cards are drawn successively with replacement so the first one yaha pe xi yaha pe pi so yaha pe xi is equal to 0 lena hai so for p of x is equal to 0, what does that mean guys? p of x is equal to 0 ka matlab kya hao gya? Sure Pranjal, I'll just check your answer. I think you're right. Pranjal, you're right. Aapka answer sahi hai. 3 by 4 is right. Very good. Very good Yashvita. I think your answer is also right. Uh, what does p of x is equal to 0 indicating? x is equal to 0 kya indicate kar raha hai pe? What is x is equal to 0 indicating yaha pe? Can you even tell me what is p of x is equal to exactly no spades? So no spades ka matlab kya hao gya? See, there are three cards. Matlab, this is the n. So, 3c0, okay, into, no spades ka matlab, success ka jo bhi power hona chahiye, it is going to be 0. So, 1 by 4, whole raised to 0, into 3 by 4, whole raised to q. Perfect, very good. So, this is going to be, kitna hoga ye? This is going to be 27 by 64, okay? Then, for x is equal to 1, kitna hoga? For p of x is equal to 1, you're going to get 3c1, okay? This is 1 by 4 whole raised to 1, 3 by 4 whole square. So, its answer kitna milega? Can you even tell me the answer of this one? Anyway, you'll get the answer of this one. In the same way, find it for p of x is equal to 2. p of x is equal to 2 ke kitna milega? 3c2 into 1 by 4 whole square into 3 by 4 whole raised to 1. In the same way, p of x is equal to 3 ke liye, aapko milega 3c3 into 1 by 4 whole cube. Clear? Right. So see, for x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, for x is equal to 1, substitute this value, x is equal to 2, substitute this value, x is equal to 3, substitute this particular value, and then it's very simple for you to find out the mean of the distribution. Yes or no, guys? So, aapko answer milna hai, mean ka answer kitna milna hai, mu is equal to 3 by 4 milna hai aapko answer. Is this okay for everyone? Is this clear for everyone, guys? Sahi hai question? Any doubt in this question, guys? Should we continue to the next question? Right. So, let's the next question. Pe abhi. Now, start doing the next question, guys. <clears throat> start doing the next question. For six trials of an experiment, let capital X be a Bernoulli. I think, sorry, it's a binomial, not variate. 
it's binomial variable it's a binomial variable let x be a binomial variable which satisfies the relation 9 into p of x is equal to 4 is equal to p of x is equal to 2 then find the probability of success so kaise karna hai it's a very simple one so 9 into okay so p of x is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 ka matlab kya hai this is basically your n so this is indicating 64 into p square okay sorry it is p dot p square it is p raised to 4 okay into q square is equal to p of x is equal to 2 ka matlab kya ho gaya 6 c2 yes or no guys 6 c2 into p square into q raised to 4 okay so see 6 c4 and 6 c2 are represent the same thing yes or no because ncr and ncn minus r this both are equal so 6 c4 and 6 c2 are same so kya milega 9 into p raised to 4 okay uh, into q square is equal to p square into q raised to 4 you are not understanding it okay fine i'll try to help you out here how is it happening see it's a very simple thing man so aapke paas p of x is equal to x ka formula hai which is ncx p raised to x into q raised to n minus x yes or no this was your formula right so what will happen ye formula se aapko kya karna hai from this particular formula you have to substitute this one so what will happen here here n ka value 6 tries diya hai so n is equal to basically 6 and here here x ka value kitna diya hai x is equal to 4 substitute these two values then you are going to get the answer right so from that you are going to get these two values of course 6 c4 into p raised to 4 q square milega and on the right hand side you are going to get 6 c2 into p square into q raised to 4 and we know that ncr is equal to nc n minus r so this and this is going to get cancelled so yaha pe kya hoga this and this is going to get cancelled p square or yaha pe ye doro cancel hoga so you are going to get 9 p square is equal to q square okay or else i can write this as 3 p is equal to q right yeshvita you are right 3 p is equal to q so 3p is equal to q and q is nothing but 1 minus p yes or no q is nothing but 1 minus p yes or no guys q ka matlab kya hai q is nothing but 1 minus p yes or no yes so p kya hoga yaha pe 4p is equal to 1 okay so yaha pe dekho 4p 4p is equal to 1 so from this you are going to get the value p is equal to 1 by 4 so that is what is asking in the question the probability of success is basically p is equal to 1 by 4 exactly perfect so samajh mein aa gaya sabhi ko 988 is it okay for you guys koi doubt hai question pe it's a very simple one it's a very very simple question koi doubt hai question pe right so chalenge next question pe now start doing the next question now right guys start doing the next question an experiment succeeds thrice as often as it fails okay find the probability that in the next five trials there will be at least three success so let me see who is going to do this one it's a good question okay so an experiment succeeds thrice as often as it fails okay uh, find the probability that in next five trials there will be at least three success so matlab kya hai ki is basically interested in finding this one p of x is equal to 3 plus p of x is equal to 4 plus p of x is equal to 5 okay and n ka value jo bhi diya hai it is 5 okay n is equal to 5 diya hai usne so you have to find out you have to use this information and get the value of this one guys so n is equal to 5 diya hai p of x is equal to 3 p of x is equal to 4 and p of x is equal to 5 are what he's, he's basically interested in finding in this particular problem so yaha pe kya karunga how to find out p of x is equal to 3 can anyone tell me यहाँ पे क्या होगा? So first thing is that, first thing is that यहाँ पे success and failure का बात चल रहा है यहाँ पे. And I know that this is nothing but a Bernoulli trial, right? So how to find out the probability of success, guys? Probability of success कितना होगा? P is equal to कितना होगा? Probability of success कितना होगा? Can anyone tell me? You see the statement. An experiment succeeds thrice as often as it fails. What does that mean? If it is failing one time, how many times it is going to succeed? If it is failing one time, how many times it is going to succeed? No, it is not 1 by 3. It is not 1 by 3. See, an experiment, an experiment succeeds 
exactly exactly ashwita it is basically no no thrice as often as it fails so basically p is equal to 3 times of q it's not p is 3p is equal to q it is p is equal to 3q see succeeds thrice as often as it fails uska matlab kya hai p is equal to 3q okay then the probability of success kya hoga probability of success kya hoga p divided by p plus q yes or no so p is equal to p divided by p plus q ka matlab kitna hoga i think it is going to be p is equal to 3q hai so i think you are going to get uh, this as basically uh, i think uh, 3q plus q 4q aa jayega aur yahan pe kitna hoga uh, this is going to be 3q divided by 4q so the probability of success aapko milega 3 by 4 yahan tak samajh mein aa gaya sabhi ko yahan tak samajh mein aa gaya how probability of success is 3 by 4 yes or no guys If it is not okay, please, please tell me. I'll try to explain it once again. Yep, everyone is okay with this one. It's a very simple thing. Condition is there. Look, probability of success is thrice as often as it fails. So p is equal to three q. A condition is mila hai. So from this condition, I have taken that we know the probability is equal to p. That is success. Probability of success is basically probability of success divided. Sorry, success divided by the total number of outcomes. So p divided by p plus q. Yahan pe three by four mil gaya. Then what is the probability of failure? It is going to be one by four. So p is equal to three by four. Q equal to one by four. So from this you have to find out p of x is equal to three. So yahan pe kya hoga? Yahan pe kya hoga, guys? So this is going to be five c three. Okay. So this is going to succeed how many times? Three times. Okay. So kya hoga? Three by four whole cube into one by four. Sorry, this is going to be Into one by four whole square, perfect. Plus this is going to be five c four, three by four whole raised to four into one by four plus five c five, okay, into three by four whole raised to five. So this is what you're going to get. Clear? So the answer which you have to get is basically four fifty nine divided by five hundred and twelve. Yes, yes, perfect. Jill, you are right. Nine triple eight. You're also right. So the answer is going to be four fifty nine divided by five hundred and twelve. So clear is abhi ke liye. Is this question clear for everyone? See, this part is very simple for you. The jo bhi formula substitution hai, Bernoulli trial se, that part is very very simple. The only important step in this particular question is this p is equal to three q and the probability of success three by four and the probability of failure one by four. If you get these three statements correct. then the entire question you're going to get it as perfectly correct clear koi doubt hai question pe guys yes perfect so chalte hain next question pe abhi so let me go to the next question now start doing this question guys two cards or yeah i'm understanding it now very very good very good what is your name what is your name 9388 aapka naam kya hai so that you know it's uh, it will be more comfortable for me to tell you your name rather than uh, every time telling it as 9388 9388 right so two cards are uh, drawn simultaneously without replacement okay from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards find the mean and variance of the number of red cards find the mean and variance of the number of red cards start doing this question guys chalo start doing this question <clears throat> Nine triple eight. आपका नाम क्या है? So that every time I call you out, I need not to, you know, tell your phone number. Okay. Anyway, I think uh, you don't want to tell your name. It's okay. Fine. Two cards are drawn simultaneously without replacement from a well shuffled pack of fifty-two cards. Shristi. Okay, Shristi. Fine. Fine. Chalo. So you have to find the mean and variance of the number of red cards. Start doing it now. Start doing this question. What about other students? Yashvita, Pranjal. Okay, good. Jeel, Omkar. Mean is equal to one. Yeah. Pranjal, you are right. Mean to one is the answer. Very good. And variance? What is it? Tell me the answer of variance. What is the variance one? What is the answer for variance? 
variance is 0.49 okay i think so i think so you are right let me check it out let me check it out is it 25 by 51 is the answer 25 by 51 yes srishti you are right the answer is 1 mean 1 ea yes perfect then your answer is perfectly correct perfect so yaha pe kya karna hai two cards are drawn simultaneously without replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards find the meaning mean and variance of the number of red cards to pehla kya hoga so pehla kya hoga ki do cards simultaneously pick up kar raha hai without replacement okay so he is picking up simultaneously so kya hoga yaha pe x is equal to okay so x and probability yaha pe likhunga pi and xi so i can say that the first case might be zero where whatever two cards you're going to pick up they're basically not uh, what i can say this one they're basically not having any red cards so in that in that case aapka probability kya hoga so the total number of ways is 22 c2 yes or no out of 22 cards aapko do cards pick up karna hai simultaneously so 252 c2 so i know that out of 52 cards 26 are red cards and 26 are black cards so in the first case in the first case you have to get zero red card uska matlab kya hai jo bhi aap do card pick up kar rahe hain whatever two cards you're going to pick up you're basically picking up them picking picking them up from the black cards to kya hoga yaha pe 26 c2 hoga yes or no guys 26 c2 divided by 52 c2 any doubt in this particular step guys koi doubt hai yaha tak right exactly then for one what is the meaning of one you are basically going to get only one red card out of that two cards. So again, you have a probability kitna hoga? 52 C2 is the total number of ways. Favorable ways kitna hoga? Basically one card you are going to pick up from this one. Which one? From the red one. And one card you are going to pick up from the black one. So that is going to be 26 C1. Okay. Into 26 C1. No, it's not 26 C2. It is 26 C1 into 26 C1. Because you have to आप एक कार्ड इसमें से पिकअप कर रहे हैं और दूसरे कार्ड इसमें से पिकअप कर रहे हैं आप सो इट कान बी 26 सी टू ओके एग्जैक्ट यू आर सेइंग फॉर टू देन फॉर टू इट इज करेक्ट सो फॉर एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू टू एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी 52 सी टू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सेम एंड टोटल नंबर कितना होगा इट इज सॉरी फेवरेबल कितना होगा 26 सी टू राइट सो यू गॉट एक्स आई यू गॉट पी आई देन आई थिंक यू नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द मीन एज वेल एज द वेरियंस इज और नो गाइस आप कर सकते हैं ना so the mean of answer will not have one whatever mean you have to get that is nothing but one and the variance the answer for variance is 25 divided by 51 clear sure what is your doubt Yashvita you can just type your doubt in the meantime other students is it okay for this question sabhi ko samaj mein aagya hai na ye question any doubt in this question guys don't make any mistake in this one yaha pe tricky part sirf yehi hai don't make mistake in this kind of questions okay from one word card should not it be a combination uh, it's not combination uh, kya ho ki? basically he is basically picking up simultaneously okay should not it be combination yaha pe combination hi hai na, 26 c1 into 26 this is c1 this is c1 i have taken combination only where i have taken permutation here when i combination hi hai na, yaha pe. 26 c1 ka matlab i am picking one card from these red cards 26 C1 ka ye 26 C1 ka matlab I'm picking the other one red card sorry other one card from this blue cards sorry black cards yes or no guys or koi doubt hai pe is that your doubt I have taken combination only in this particular case yaha pe maine ye nahi liya hai which one the permutation I have not taken the permutation because you are picking up simultaneously right <coughs> Why are you multiplying it? Multiplying का मतलब क्या हो गया? Multiplying का मतलब it is basically indicating or it is basically referring to only a single event. Yes or no? See, अगर मैंने आप ही सोचो, 26 C1 plus 26 C1 लिख दिया है. What is the meaning of this one? Can anyone tell me the explanation of this one? 26 C1 plus 26 C1 and 26 C1 into 26 C1. What is the difference between these two statements? This is indicating two different cases where out of this 26 cards you are picking up only one card. Yaha pe ek, ek case represent kar rahe aur ye aur ek different case represent kar rahe Example, you can say that what are the probability or let me say what are the different combinations in which you can pick up a single card out of, of a single color. 
ओके समझ में आ गया यशविता यू सी दिस यू सी दिस पर्टिकुलर केस मैं यहाँ पे क्या बोल रहा हूँ कि द कंडीशन विच आई एम डिस्क्राइबिंग नव इज वॉट आर द डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज इन विच यू आर गोइंग टू पिकअप ओनली ए सिंगल कार्ड ओके of the same color तो क्या होगा वो condition पे so one thing is that the one case is आप red card में से एक card pick up कर सकते हैं that is going to be in 26 C1 ways plus प्लस आप क्या करेंगे दूसरे क्या होगा पॉसिबिलिटी आउट ऑफ दैट ब्लैक कार्ड यू गोइंग टू पिकअप वन कार्ड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी सिक्स सी वन सो यू सी दिस वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सी वन प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स सी वन देर बेसिकली गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट टू डिफरेंट केसेस ये और नो टू डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज बट ये क्वेश्चन भी देखो बट 26 C1 वन इंटू ट्वेंटी इट इज नॉट बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंटिंग टू डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज इट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द सिंगल पॉसिबिलिटी सिंगल केस जहां पे आपको दो बॉल्स पिकअप करना है वन इज ऑफ डिफरेंट कलर द अदर वन इज ऑफ डिफरेंट कलर सो इन दैट वे यू सी दिस वन आपको दो कार्ड दो कार्ड सॉरी टू कार्ड पिकअप करना है सो वन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टू सो दिस इज टोटली रिफरिंग टू ए सिंगल केस Exactly, exactly. So समझ में आ गया क्वेश्चन इज योर डाउट क्लियर यशविता एंड अदर स्टूडेंट्स अगर कोई डाउट है किसी को वेन वी हैव टू यूज प्लस एंड वेन यू हैव टू यूज इन टू इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल वन प्लस का मतलब डिफरेंट केसेस इन टू का मतलब रिगार्डिंग द सेम केस द सेम कंडीशन द सेम पॉसिबिलिटी राइट चलो चलते हैं लास्ट क्वेश्चन पे अभी द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन गाइस सो स्टार्ट डूइंग द लास्ट क्वेश्चन Let me see who is going to give me the answer of the last question now. Find the probability of throwing at most two sixes in six throws of a single die. Find the probability of throwing at most two sixes in six throws of a single die. So start doing this question, guys. <clears throat> Find the probability of throwing at most two sixes in six throws of a single die. चलो so क्या होगा at most two sixes मिलना चाहिए उसका मतलब क्या होगा is basically interested in p of x is equal to जीरो plus p of x is equal to वन plus p of x is equal to टू So this is what is basically interested in. राइट एग्जैक्टली वेरी गुड वेरी गुड तो यहां पर क्या होगा यहां पर क्या होगा सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो का मतलब क्या है You are basically not going to not going to get a six. Okay. So first thing is that the probability of getting a six is one by six. Okay. I'll take it as a success. And q how much will be? Five by six will be obviously. So one by six is p is equal to one by six and q is equal to five by six exactly. So what will happen? P of x is equal to zero. What does that mean? Six throws. So n is equal to six will be here. So six c zero. Okay. One by six whole raised to zero. Into five by six whole raised to six. That is the first case exactly perfect. Second case, what will happen? Six c one into one by six whole raised to one into five by six whole raised to five. Perfect. Plus six c two. Okay, one by six whole square into five by six whole raised to four. The answer which you have to get for this case is seven by three into five by six. होल रेस टू फाइव आपको ये आंसर मिलना है सेवन बाई थ्री इंटू फाइव बाई सिक्स होल रेस टू फाइव आई नॉट डन दिप्लीफिकेशन पार्ट फॉर दिस आई जस्ट आई जस्ट लिविंग इट टू यू आई गेस आई थिंक यू गैस कैन डू इट दिस वन इस और नो आप ये खुद कर सकते हैं राइट एग्जैक्टली राइट 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 एग्जैक्टली परफेक्ट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वाई टू सी वन वाई टू सी टू यशविता इट इज सिक्स यहाँ पे एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स है एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स नॉट एन इज इक्वल टू टू सिक्स थ्रो से ना So n is equal to six here. Up here, clear? Yeah, don't. Okay, it's fine, fine. What about other students? Is it okay for everyone, guys? Any doubt? A question? Pe? Is it okay for everyone? Any doubt? A question? Pe, guys? Right. So this brings me to the end of this particular session, guys. So, sir, can we leave the answer like this? Sure. Up examination. Pe, up. I say, be. You can just leave the answer here also. Seven by three into five by six whole raised to five. It is fine. If you leave the answer here. it is fine it is okay for you okay so what i'm saying is so that brings me to the end of this particular session guys so that's it uh, so i hope the, all the questions which you have done on bernoulli trials and you know this random variables is clear for you so tomorrow i'll be doing the sample paper of cbse so that is going to be almost 2 to 3 hours session okay so ek sample paper karenge 2 to 3 hours session which year 
2020 का एक सैंपल पेपर करेंगे सीबीएसई का टुमारो आई टेल यू द टाइमिंग मे बी इट इट माइट बी अराउंड सेवन और सिक्स एनी वे यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द नोटिफिकेशन जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू द क्लास ओके सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑन द टाइम इज इट यूजफुल फॉर एस सी एस सी श्योर इट विल भी यूजफुल फॉर एस सी ओमकार इट विल भी वेरी वेरी यूजफुल क्योंकि पोर्शन तो सेम ही रहेगा ओके सो योर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल्सो भी क्लियर फॉर यू सो प्लीज टुमारो be ready with your pen and paper okay so we'll start we'll start solving the entire sample paper okay pura ek bar wo ek sample paper hum solve karenge aur dekhenge aapko kitna aa raha hai usme if you are scoring around 80s and 90s then you are in a very very comfortable position aap examination pe aaram se 90 plus aap expect kar sakte hain okay maybe still the timing is not fixed guys timing fix nahi hai but it might be at 7 or 6 okay don't worry okay kya karna hai aapko first Uh, subscribe to this class so that you get the notification on time and tell your friends to join that particular class okay so that they can also get benefited from this one so to the kal jo bhi hai sample paper discussion hai tell your friends also so that you know uh, you, that guys also can be get benefited aur aap pura friends saath mein baith ke aap solve kar sakte hain okay right chalo so that's it from today guys so that's it from today thank you so much so if you have any doubts you can ask me now or 8 uh, minutes say if you have any doubts guys no there is no other classes today only this class will be there uh, are you having any other doubts guys koi aur doubts hai yahan pe is this okay for everyone right aur koi doubts hai chapter pe right perfect thank you thank you so much guys that's it